Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part two of our synthetic blood lab. So right now we're going to be testing our three blood samples. One sample three, which is from the victim. Sample four, which comes from the suspect's van. And then sample five, which comes from the suspect themselves. Now let's start with sample three. So we take a drop of our victim's blood and place it into each of the wells. The wells are actually marked A, B, and RH. To the A well, we're going to add one drop of our synthetic anti-A serum and give it a good mix, like so. And if you look closely, you can see we're getting like little clots and clumps in there. That, my friends, is what we call agglutination. So we see agglutination with the anti-A antibodies. I'm going to try the same thing with our anti-B antibodies and our B well. So once again, one drop of the anti-B antibody. Give it a nice little mix. And in contrast to our anti-A, you notice that the blood remains smooth and not clotted up. So for our anti-B serum with our blood, we see no agglutination. So agglutination is absent. Finally, in our last well, and this will help us determine whether or not our blood is positive or negative, I'm going to add a drop of anti-D, or otherwise known as anti-RH serum. So, let's give this a little bit of a mix. And once again, we have no agglutination. So everything's remaining nice and smooth. No sign of the clumping or the clotting. So once again, for our sample three, we have agglutination with anti-A antibody, no agglutination with anti-B antibody, and no agglutination with our anti-RH antibody. So once again, a nice little shot of what that exactly looks like. Now I'm going to perform the rest of the operations and take some pictures so you can see the, the reactions. And then you're going to, we're going to enter these onto our data sheets and uh, figure out what blood types were present in our victim, our suspect's van, and from our suspect themselves. So stay tuned.